All righty, welcome back to another Lord of the Rings live stream. We are, or I guess I am, taking a break from my progression playthrough to come back and get revenge on Dol Gador, which is one of the notoriously hard or, uh, scenarios in the core box, which Jason, our D20 woodworking, joined me in playing on my progression, and we kind of pseudo won, but we also cheated. So we're we're back for revenge now that I have access to a little bit more cards, and hopefully, it works. So, alrighty, yeah, I guess up? I guess the opinion now is before we do this, do you think you now have like a good card pool to take on this this challenge? But do you, do you feel a lot stronger now? I, I do feel stronger. Okay. Um, I, I think that from a from a solo play standpoint, yes, I feel stronger. From mm. a um, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I. So I got I went to PAX this weekend, PAX Unplugged this weekend in Philadelphia, and I got back home at around eleven thirty p.m. And then for some reason I worked today. I definitely should have. I, I oh, had the day off. I like <laughs> took the day off. And then I was like, no, nah, it'll be fine. And so I canceled my PTO and that was a mistake. And yes. so if I am not completely coherent, it's because I am running on what we would call fumes. But anyways, I, I do, I do think that I, um, I, I have a lot more cards. I know that I am not, um, hello everybody. Um, I, I know that I am not the, I don't have all of the best cards. I, I, I'm not, um, you know, I still have right. 600 boxes to open and I I'm interested in playing this now. Um, all righty. Have fun. Thanks for joining. And after you put your kids to bed, come back. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. They're, they're going to stay in bed. It's fine. <laughs> mine, are, mine are in bed too. I think. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so I, I've played with this expanded card pool, which is the entire Merkwood cycle at this point, mm -hmm. only solo. And so mm -hmm. I'm excited. There are a couple of cards in here that I, I'm excited to get to the table that I think work well with a multiplayer build. So let's talk about the decks real quick. Uh, Jason, what, tell, me, tell me about your deck. How, how are you going to help win this scenario? Uh, I am going to provide excellent commentatorship to you and oh, perfect, you know, verbal perfect. encouragement. And I'm going to tell you that you can do this and that you have it. But more importantly, <laughs> um, I have tactics. I have all tactics. So I, uh, just so the chat knows, I also held myself back and I am only using the same card pool. So instead of using my normal, everything else I have, I'm just pulling from this, which I don't even think I have a full 50 card deck. I'll be completely honest. I think I'm just short. I think about like 47, but whatever. We can't enter a tournament. Sorry to mess things up. <laughs> um, so I went all tactics because the rough idea for me was that once those Nazgul and whatnot come out, like we kind of need attack, especially if I'm going to be down someone. So I wanted to stay one sphere because our overall goal is for one of my people to get captured because this way you can keep doing your thing. I still have two cards using the tactic sphere. And when I get the other one, helps a lot so that's my rough plan and i'm just gonna start bashing everything in the face is really Love it. The, my biggest plan so so what are your heroes so we have legolas um which i'm hoping has a range he can go help you a little bit if need be so if you get <laughs> caught up you could do that <laughs> lower resource <laughs> oh we that. we would be rich um <laughs> um so you know after he does enemies and stuff we can put uh progress broken tokens all that fun stuff gimli i have the whatever that armor card is that gives you plus four health so i'm planning to put that yeah, on gimli plate. yes so we're gonna put that on gimli so that each damage token he gets he gets plus one damage so hopefully he'll have eight damage on him so he's swinging oh. for 10 that's like the game plan now <laughs> <laughs> best laid pants awesome. never work but you know and then lastly we have boromir who is our only uh non-core hero that i'm playing with and uh i just like boromir overall he's a solid tactics guy from that first set so that's pretty much why i, I picked him and that you know it lets me raise my threat but i'm already starting at 31 which is i didn't realize how high that was until <laughs> you asked me what my threat was <laughs> so meh, we'll see <laughs> it'll be fine yeah yeah 
So funny enough, I'm actually running all core heroes. I'm not running a core deck, but I'm running all core heroes. So uh, kind of what you were alluding to earlier, this is uh, a fairly hard quest because one of your heroes, one of the heroes on the table gets captured right at the beginning. You flip them face down and they're unusable. And so if it's a hero that you really need, then it can get pretty tricky very quickly. Um, and so that's why you're running all tactics. And I am running uh, two spirit heroes. I'm running Eowyn because we're going to have to quest like crazy to get through this. I'm running Dune here so I can attack and do a little bit of damage if, if, uh, if it comes to that. And then I'm running Berevir. Um, Berevir is one, just the card draw. And what I like about this is that I can also have you draw cards if you're in a pinch. And so it's, it's choose a player and, you know, it's, I've always played solo with Berevir. And so I've always been drawing the cards, but yeah, yeah. at some point you have so many cards as a Berevir uh, player that, I mean, it, if you, if you really need that Dwarven plate, you know, we can start searching for it pretty quickly. And so that's kind of the idea. I am running a dual sphere deck. And so really the idea is to not have Berevir get um, captured. I okay. think best case is one of yours or uh, Dune here gets captured. Am I saying that right? Dune here? Yeah, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's, that's how I would say it. Why not? <laughs> Please. My, my Tolkien pronunciation is lackluster. I, I uh, think everything comes from the throat. So you're just like, <laughs> ah, <"Hot, laughs> <"Hot, yeah." laughs> <laughs> perfect um and i do have one of the, the the my favorite things that i got added as i expanded the card pool are the are the song cards that give you kind of access to a different sphere so like mm-hmm. there's the oh dang it i even upped it nah, it's not enough i have so much money dude i have <laughs> so much money i could do this all day anyone else that has money start spending on hydrates <laughs> <laughs> um so the the dual sphere um or and i have like a song of kings in here because i've got some leadership like steward of gondors Mm. and snake attacks that i'm going to be using um and then i've got the uh rivendell minstrels which are is an ally that allows me to go get them and so i've got three song of kings in there i've got three uh rivendell minstrels so i'm hoping that very quickly i can start i can get that um that song of kings out to get that leadership resource so i can start playing some of those powerful cards i also just as a backup have a song of travel which is probably not the right one. Oh no traffic come on yes <laughs> it's happening <laughs> song of uh it's it's the one that gives the the lore okay. icon and so if I do lose Berevere, I'm not completely out of luck, hopefully. It's kind of the idea. So that that's the that's the deck. You ready to crush it? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I yeah, mean, let's... honestly, I, I almost say we keep we just keep scooping until one of my heroes gets captured. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. I I think that or Dune. Um, okay. I think I think okay. we can probably do pretty good there it's a four out of six chance so i feel like we should be able to get that <laughs> right yeah i mean it's <laughs> except it's just going to be a o and a o and a o and a o oh, yeah. every single yeah. time <laughs> five <laughs> scoops right to be five games played <laughs> get that count higher exactly yep if you keep losing then you <laughs> seem to be very experienced <laughs> all righty so 1a the necromancer's tower the Lady Galadriel of Lorien has asked you to investigate the area in the vicinity of Dol de Gore. While doing so, one of your allies was ambushed by the orcs, captured, and is now held in a dungeon cell. <gasps> dude here. Dude here, hero. Sacrifice that dude here, hero. Dude here. <laughs> um, so dude, hey, yeah. that... <laughs> I'm just... that was disgusting That's right. <laughs> just, just clip it for youtube and put it on a short everyone will love it yeah <laughs> uh, so search the encounter deck for the three objective cards reveal and place them in the staging area also place the nazgul face up out of play which is this bad boy don't forget it so yeah so <laughs> if, if no one saw our, our last stream that's kind of how we cheated which actually makes the scenario way easier if you just never put the nazgul into play yeah. um like, this like, is easy. <laughs> yeah, this is really easy. Um, um, yep. So we've got Gandalf's map, so which is a guarded restricted card. 
and raise your threat by two to claim this objective when it's free of encounters. When claimed, attach Gandalf mats to a hero you control, and that hero cannot attack or defend. So we want Aowen to take this. Yeah. Aowen, if Aowen is attacking and or defending, we've lost this match. So just so that that's the first objective card. Unless it's the finishing blow. Yeah. <laughs> Aowen <laughs> comes in for the kill. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um. Uh, okay. Right. We got the dungeon torch. So raise your threat by two to claim the objective card when it's free of encounters. And then at the end of each round, the attached hero's controller raises their threat by two. So cool. there's that. Um. I I guess I didn't really talk too much about. I'm running a lot of kind of mitigation cards as well. So I'm running a lot of cancel shadow, cancel wind revealed effects, right. that kind of stuff, just so we can try and control this. And I have a lot of threat reduction as well. I so. have a lot of eagles, so that's oh, something. I am super excited to see this because I've always wanted to see eagles be played, and I've just never done it. It's, so it's a lot like a regular enemy, but you know, just eagles. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, and then we got the shadow key, which is the same as everything else, but for us at the end of each round, attached hero suffers one damage. So we want Gimli to take that. Yes, absolutely. Alrighty, so let's uh let's attach an encounter to each one of them. Speak. Oh, oh, good. Oh, there's another. Excellent. Oh, good. Okay, so we've got two Dolgador orcs, and we've got a dungeon jailer. So if dungeon jailer is in the staging area after the players have just quested unsuccessfully, shuffle one of the unclaimed objective cards from the staging area back into the encounter deck. And which then- uh which one is the jailer on? Uh, he's on Gandalf's map. Gandalf's map. Okay, perfect. Then the orcs, when revealed, the first player chooses a character currently committed to a quest, deal two damage, which is actually nice that we flip them down because yeah. we don't have anyone committed to a quest. Yeah. So we don't have to kill. Mm-hmm. Um, it also gives Legolas some easy pickings, right? Legolas's attack is three, right? Uh, you are correct. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you know my hero better than me, so that's good. <laughs> all righty. So the Necromancer's Tower. When revealed, randomly select one hero among all the heroes controlled by the players and turn it face down. Okay, we'll just go across the screen. screen. Yep, this is how this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Roll the dice. Come on, six. It's one. Should we just scoop now? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's one. <laughs> <sighs> okay no, yeah we scoop no i mean that's literally the one card we can't have like the one card oh my goodness okay All well right. count it as a play <laughs> Start. count it as a play yeah okay count okay one loss i need a loss counter you you see like speed runners doing that i need a loss counter yeah right and that would have been smart to do does that even like? Do we even have like a timer for that? Like, what do you even start the game? So it's like, oh, 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 oh one. <laughs> <laughs> Just a set to roll two out of six. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, one again. Um, <laughs> are you are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no, I I froze. Ugh. That's how bad your roll was. You froze it, your webcam. You that's how bad me? my roll was. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we got three. Okay, so fair of you. Oh also my god, horrible roll. You want to just try it? Sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll get to play more games. It'll yeah. Be fine. No, that's okay. So, how many times did we scoop there? Three. Three. Technically, no two. We only <laughs> two. scooped oh, twice. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. New record. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, Jason perfect. has some work to do. Jason has no work to do. Jason is just gonna <laughs> hang out, watch this stream, and just chill, man. <laughs> I love and, it. And now and again, put some birds out because he likes birds. <laughs> Alrighty, so the players as a group cannot play more than one ally card each round. Players cannot advance to the next stage of this quest unless they have at least one objective card. The Valor has chosen Aowen. Who are you to defy their will? That's fair. That That's really fair. Uh, the scoop gods. The scoop gods. <laughs> the mighty hand comes down and scoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Let's let's see what we, am I first player or you first player? Uh, yeah, yeah, we should probably decide these things. Um it doesn't matter. Well, if there's stuff out there, maybe me, I guess. Okay. Yeah, let it be me because I have all my guys. So I'll get hit first and like have to pick up first, right? For uh checks. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Let, let, let them let them do me. So let me get my fancy sword. 
Give that to Boromir. He's not worthy. Okay. Okay. We have a really sh sh bad hand. <laughs> um. Yeah, I I'm not loving. I do have a test of will and a dwarven tomb, but I don't have. I need a I need a good pull because I don't have my card draw. So I, I'm mulliganing, mulliganing, mulliganing. Love it. Actually, um, yellow. I'm keeping this hand. I have I have a very outside the box strategy with it. I love I, it. I think that's what we need. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you won't let me do my strategy of just lose the Nazgul card. So <laughs> thanks. Oh, hopefully this isn't worse. Um, Probably okay, not. no, this is not worse. This is actually way better. I got a Song of Kings. I've got a Sneak Attack, Northern Ranger, and an Unexpected Courage. So loving that Unexpected Excellent. Courage. I can also attach this to one of your heroes if that would be better. And so the Unexpected Courage is in here are um, kind of the, the throw on Bear Beer. And so since I don't have have bear beer i i'm okay throwing that on you um if you need it so. this is, is that i don't exhaust or i can exhaust it to refresh myself exhaust it to refresh yourself okay yeah maybe we'll have to see what that um all right so chat knows i have radagast which is the main reason why i'm thinking about keeping this nice. because he collects a resource for each phase and i can uh use it to pay for creature cards what are creature cards birds so Birds. we're going to get some bird resources going on. <laughs> um, past that, I got a veteran axe hand, two to the eerie cards, which after an ally is destroyed, exhausts an eagle to move that ally from the discard pile to the owner's hand, which is only like th four allies in this deck. So we'll see how that goes. And the eagles are coming, so I can search for eagles, hopefully. So, And is the eagles coming, is that put it into your hand or put it into play? Or I think it's probably just your hand, right? So it's uh, search the top five cards of your deck for any number of eagle cards and add them to your hand. Sweet. So okay, if it's cool. five eagles, I get five eagles, like YOLO. So, and then I shuffle the other cards back into your deck. I can reshuffle, redraw that. So actually, nice. no sense of talking. Let me draw my card for the resource phase. I already put my stuff on one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I didn't draw yet. Uh, and to the eerie again, man, I swear I shuffled this deck. <laughs> sure. I actually I'm not really not anymore so all right <laughs> we're going to do the eagles are coming the first time so we're going to search the top five of cards of your deck for any number of eagles one two three four five and we have one eagle we have two eagle on like Gandalf so that's two eagles I'm pretty nice. happy with that awesome and then we'll play it again you got another one I have two nice because that because I didn't shuffle apparently <laughs> Nice. I I blame it on these cheap penny sleeves because I didn't I didn't put my good sleeves on. I I made the mistake and I well not the mistake I think it was actually a very good call but I'm switching out all of my Marvel champions for the Dragon Shield stuff. Yeah, so I had I had the heroes in Dragon Shield and the encounter cards in penny sleeves and not mm. or not penny but Ultra Pro and yeah. I'm, I'm swapping them out. Just I love. I, if anyone's curious, I use, and I think you use as well, the Dragon Shield, like clear matte. You sometimes use the colored. Yeah, I use matte, yeah. Um, but the matte Dragon Shields are incredible. They're so good. They're so good. Matte, matte in general. When, a bunch of people just told me to change, uh, got me to change my mind on it. It's fantastic. Um, so I got Descent on Thorondor and Winged Guardian. So I got a bunch of eagles in my hand, which is fun. Nice. Um, I'm probably going to need one. So the jailer is going to hang out, but we don't want, no, we, we want to definitely just quest successfully. Um, yeah, but one of those orcs are going to come anyway, because it's a 10 engagement. One's going to come anyways. One's going to come to me unless you optionally engage the, the other one. So you can take both of them. I don't know if you want to do that. That would, um, um, I mean, I don't want to, but I will because, I mean, that's the only reason I'm here, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I am playing Wing Guardian, uh, it's a creature. Um, 
He cannot have restricted attachment. He is a sentinel, so if you do end up with someone, I can block with him. Oh, nice. So after an attack in which Wing Guardian defend resolves, pay one uh, tactics resource to, or discard Wing Guardian from play, which is the one downside. But he's got four defense, so he's basically my key go-to defender right now. How much health? One. One okay. health, four defense. So just can't okay. get hit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And that, that's going to be enough for me. Okay. So you took my ally. So one point of clarification that I oh, looked yeah. up is that um, – Playing an ally in this case means paying the resource cost of the ally and putting it into play. I can still sneak attack. I can still play okay. um, the, the, the one that goes and gets it from my stand and fight. I can play those, um, but I can't pay. F- we can only pay for one ally. And so, yeah. okay. Then I will, since I did that too, I'll definitely optionally take the other guys. So you don't have to worry about either of them. Cool. Okay. Um, Alrighty, so I am going to spend one resource here to play a Song of Kings on Eowyn. So Eowyn now has the leadership icon. Perfect. And that will be my turn. So going into the quest phase, we have to quest for 2, 4, 5, 14. Um, feel like you can do 14 uh i could but i can't defend or attack then and that's gonna be a real <laughs> damper on my tactics <laughs> um i will i will quest for four so we and we've got to go more um honestly we, i really i i would rather i would personally rather not just because i could take both these yeah, things yeah, out yeah. and get defended too but if we really have to no, I can't. no, no, that's fair. I'm going to. So I'm I'm going to go five here. Hopefully, we don't flip a uh, a monster, and I have, I can toss a card if need be for six. But if we quest unsuccessfully, then we have to shuffle one of these objectives back into the deck, and that gets really disgusting. So I'll quest for five and. With the potential of six, if we need it. Okay. Okay. So, oh, and shoot, we're resolve- We're flipping two cards. I forgot about that. Oh, this game is hard. Right. So, yeah, I don't like this game <laughs> anymore. Uh, so, what do we need? So, there's five out there, right? And you have five. I'm as questing well? for five, and I can quest for six total. All right. So here's a thought. Is it worth just questing with Gimli as well? Who's another two? I could still take out one thing, right? I could block, I could block, I could just let Gimli get hit in the face too, because he kind of needs to. Um, Actually. Okay. Let's, let me rethink my thing for a second. So I can block one with wing guardian, just take the hit from somebody else. I'll put it on Gimli. And then this way I'm still swinging with Legolas and Boromir, both of which will kill those orcs so actually let's do that right let's just make sure we get this quest because you're right i don't want to lose one that. of those objectives one of those quick. objectives yeah so um and Gimli needs to take damage anyway to be better to get good as right. the kids say yeah get good so how much uh, Gimli has five health and he has five health okay so i'm not too worried about him yet or you know we scoop so <laughs> yeah there's that um <laughs> Alrighty, so that's five. The other thing that I'm thinking about is I can sneak attack in for six and then go up to seven, eight, nine. I think I think we don't I think we have to risk it. Okay. Yeah. So so we are questing for five seven with Gimli. Optional eight, yep. Optional eight. We've got a one with the Hummer horns, which I'll be able to take out before they engage and then deal one damage to each exhausted character. Uh, One damage to Gimli. Okay. Okay. And so that's a total of two, four, six, and we quested for seven. So one progress token. Hey, nice. Go us. Man, I thought this game was hard. Yeah. All righty. So now. We are going into the travel phase, which we have not flipped up. We've just flipped up all of those guys. 
and <laughs> which we've got like the worst cards like no travel cards are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> um okay so you're gonna optionally engage one of the orcs yeah so i'll tell you i'll option engage one and then i will get the other one on the engagement check okay i'm gonna take the hum- the hummer horns and just take five damage to a hero no i'm just kidding yeah right <laughs> okay <laughs> That could have been a lot worse, Josh. Yeah. Um, and what I like is uh, doing here, done here, um, can take out this hum- Hummer horn. Okay. That's good. From the staging area. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Okay. So now we're dealing out shadow cards. Uh, they're off my screen. They're on your screen, but this is what they're doing. So the That's first right. one is attacking and- for. Yeah. I'm going to block Wing Guardian first. Oh, okay. Okay. So two plus Shadow. Defending player must choose and exhaust one character he controls. Two characters instead if this attack is undefended. Okay. We'll, um, we'll exhaust Boromir. Okay. Then the second one is attacking for two plus a Shadow. And just so the chat knows, I am uh, paying a resource to keep Wing Guardian in play. Um Okay, so the other one, we're going to unblock it. Not going to block it. Uh, no shadow effect. So two damage. Perfect. That's a perfect draw. Gimli's getting angry. He's, he's, you won't like him when he's angry. Um, <laughs> do you suffer one damage? Defense by two. And you don't have to claim those now. It, can we leave them out there? Yeah. Yeah, you can leave them floating, and you can claim right. them whenever. Yeah, we might have to do that because, yeah. Um, all right, so my turn, right? To, or to punch things. Oh in yeah, the face. yeah, to punch yeah. things back in the face. Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, so Legolas is going to shoot three. We'll do it off the shadow key one. Does that one sound good, or do you have a preference? No, that sounds good. All right, cool. So we'll punch that guy in the face. Um, so he's taken out, and. That will allow us after Legolas participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, place two progress tokens on the current quest. Hey. Nice. And that is all the questing I will be doing for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more you can do it for on. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll just mm-hmm. let him go. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna float okay. around. Do orc stuff. <laughs> all righty. So we're we're done. We're readying up. Ready, yeah. Yes, that could have been a lot worse. That was actually, that was actually pretty solid. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of us. <laughs> One. One. I don't think I shuffled this deck. I know, I know, camera watched me shuffle this deck, but I don't think I shuffled <laughs> this deck because I drew another veteran axe hand. <laughs> so, good times. So I do have a hasty stroke, which is nice. Um, Hmm. Okay. Do you need to play an ally? Uh, not this turn. Um, well, yeah, I, don't, I don't need to this turn because I'm going to have my, my guy block again and I can just punch him in the face with Legolas. So I have two characters still left over to, to chill with. Cool. Well, I cannot play an ally. So, oh, because I forgot. That he's a lore and not a spirit. So, and I don't have any lore heroes. (laughs) Actually, I Uh, might not even do it anyway because I kind of want to save up for Radagast because I've literally never played him in this entire game. I think it'd be cool. He's an old guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's 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 a pretty good dude. Yeah. That's what I think. Pretty good dude. They say. (laughs) Okay. So we've got. Wondering. I am going to. I'm going to spend two. I'm going to put unexpected courage on uh, done here. Like it. Sounds good. So that way I can quest and then I can start killing things in the, the staging area. Cool. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. I am I am also good. That is it. 
Cool. Okay. So <laughs> very exciting. I know. <laughs> Man, it's riveting stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now we're we're questing against two. So this feels a lot more comfortable, actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quest for five against two. And with the potential of six, if we if we need it. So, do you need Gimli to quest as no. well? Okay. No, no, okay. um, I do not. So, okay, so two. We're adding two to five. Hey, there's a one, so it's a doomed one in surge. And I think doomed is we both raise our threat, right? Probably. Okay. So, which place then, is it? Uh, it is Endless Cavern. Sorry. <clears throat> then we've got the Tower Gate. And then we've also got, oh, no, the Dolgador Beastmaster. Um, so that is two, four, six, seven. And I can only do six. Uh oh <sighs> That's really not good. Told you. Do you need Gimli? No, I don't need Gimli. Okay. So. Bom, bom, bom. Well, on the bright side, we've gone through a decent amount of deck, like a little, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's fair. That's something. Yeah. So, first off, I, I'm going to. gonna hang on to my no i'm gonna i'll toss one glad dreams greeting i got two in my hand um so we'll each only increase our threat by one so you're at 34 i'm at 30 <clears throat> and then we have to toss like one of the unclaimed uh objective cards back into the map mat deck yeah uh, Gandalf's map, Dungeon Torch, or the Shadow Key. Which one are you least excited about? Probably the Dungeon Torch, right? Definitely yeah. don't want that. Raise threat by two. Yeah, I can't handle that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll throw that in there. We'll shuffle it in. It'll be good. It'll be fine. Really not, not a great start. I got too cocky. Uh, the Star Wars. Um, <clears throat> and then we are going to travel. Uh, uh, so Tower Gate, after traveling to the Tower Gate, each player in, places the top card of his deck face down in front of him. No, let's not do that. I, I'll get a Northern Tracker out to take care of that. Okay. So let's, tra let's travel to the Endless Caverns. Um, Perfect. Because I think we'll be fine hanging out on this stage for a while until that guy comes back out. Okay, no worries. So. <clears throat> okay, so now no one's engaging us, but Correct. you can take the Beastmaster or the Jailer if you would like. Uh, I would not like, no. <laughs> False. And that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, okay. um, hold on. Let me think for a second. Let me think. Yeah, you know what? We came here to win. We're not playing safe. Every time I play safe, I lose. I mean, every time I'm aggressive, I lose too. But um, <laughs> So I'm thinking. <laughs> Josh says, "Oh, cool, Tower Gate gets you Ultron Jones." <laughs> yeah, right. <Yep. laughs> Basically, <laughs> it's like there's a pattern in their game development. Um, <laughs> sneak attack. Uh, so um, I'm thinking. I'm th all right. So here's my thought. I take the Dungeon J Jailer. So one, we don't have to worry about this quest unsuccessfully. Gimli is swinging down for two, three, four, five. So at least he'll do two damage this round, and I can block it with Boromir. I could block it. With Wing Guardian for this guy. So I'm, I'm thinking I take him and just start working on him. I'm a little worried about the Beastmaster because I, I don't really want to take him next round, but that sounds like a next round problem. <clears throat> that does that sound like a next about. round problem. So the other like thing is, is like I can 
I can throw two damage on the Beastmaster this round if that helps. Yes. Yeah, that probably Okay. Helps. Okay. So like I, I don't really care about the the this guy out. I mean, he's not engaging you for a couple more turns, hopefully. So yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take the jailer. Yeah, I'll take the jailer. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see how that goes. Let's see. Let's see what kind of mistake that is. <laughs> probably very well. It's probably <laughs> yeah. gonna be fine. It it'll be yeah. fine. Um okay. Like and 30 we have so many scoops still yeah i i am i'm not gonna lie i'm not feeling very confident about this run um all right so who do you want to attack first uh oh well they're gonna hit me right um yeah. let's get punched in the face by the jailer first and we'll block it with the boromir so the jailer is attacking for two plus uh zero Perfect. Boromir defends for two. Oh my goodness. Yes. Finally, All something right. goes right. Come up, no house. <laughs> then the orcs are attacking you for two plus a boost. Uh, wing guardian defending four. Okay. Uh, Shadow choosing to discard one attachment you control. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> um, so I have to... So chat knows I'm throwing away Legos' resource so that we keep winged guardian. Uh, in play okay sweet and then my turn to punch back no my turn to punch back uh i'm gonna swing oh, that's right you have done here thing. uh for three against the beast master he has a defensive one so i'm putting two damage on him perfect that's the one that's the one in the um in the staging area yeah, yeah, yeah. okay good cool. um okay so legolas is gonna punch the orcs in the face for three killing them Very and nice. we also get to place two progress uh tokens on our quest right now you've added more progress token than the spirit deck that's yep, cool you're, you're welcome <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah, this is just how i meant to build my deck so gimli is swinging for two three four five against the jailer which blocks three so it's two damage on the jailer cool and you I have a citadel plate I, not in hand, but I have one in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Somewhere. Probably, it's probably the bottom two cards of my deck, to be honest. Okay. The cool. way this deck is working, so. The tokens go on the, oh, the tokens go on the active location. Thank you. Totally forgot that we had an active location. Thanks, well, Josh. Well, so, Legless states, place two progress tokens on the current quest. So. So I don't know how that works because <laughs> I literally never play Legolas. <laughs> Where's the internet? So that's what's weird because normally because you'd be questing toward it. I mean, it might yeah. be an active location. That, that would that make the most sense. I think I think location speak. comes first. Sounds that's good enough for me. I like it. Location always acts as a buffer. Then I'll okay. a quest. Okay, perfect. Cool. Sounds good to me. We've got a consensus. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. I'll oppose. Nay. I'll wait. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have voice power. Come on. <laughs> All righty. So we're we're refreshing, giving some money out, drawing some cards, and our threats up. Hey, I can sneak attack Gandalf. That's always a good sign. That might be very necessary. So sneak it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I am a fan of that. Hey. Hey, I'm a I'm actually a big big fan of that. Uh, what so Lord can, of the Rings? Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. Okay. So I'm first player. Important question: Are you planning an ally this round? No. All right, my original plan was to play Radagast, but do it, but do it. This, this big fat bird is calling me. This bird is so fat. I love it. Descendant of Thorndor. So we're gonna play <laughs> him instead. One, two, three, four. And the reason being is because after a right, look at that size of that bird. It's bigger than Gandalf. Um, so after he enters or leaves play, deal two damage to any one enemy in the staging area. I'm hitting the Beastmaster for two. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, big dumb bird. 
anyone gets that reference, let me know. Talking Sesame Street? Oh, wait. No, no, no. A show that takes place in Philadelphia, ironically, is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it's always, it's always sunny there. <laughs> Chunky bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that <laughs> is everything I'm doing because I have to say Boromir, or I, mean, I say I'm sorry, I say that resource to get um, Wing Guardian punched in the face. So, okay, so I guess my question is yes. The answer cool. is yes. The answer is always yes. It's yes and hydrate. The two answers. Oh, bummer. Oh, um, there you go. You're welcome. Cool. <laughs> so, so I, I have Gandalf. We can deal five damage to an enemy when I he enters play. Does, but I don't necessarily want to waste that. Or I can lower my threat by. Or wait, four damage to an enemy. I can lower my threat by five. I guess I could take out the jailer that's attached to you is that beneficial or no uh it doesn't hurt um so did you ever take out your stupid the uh, the horn thing or no do we do we do anything no i i attacked the beast master instead is that horn thing still out there yeah it's a 40 threat oh my god that's five damage with a single hero you control oh. I'll, I'll kill it before you reach 40 threat <laughs> don't uh, worry okay. <laughs> Oh, I had a panic attack. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> so let me think. Um, all right. So when I engage Beastmaster, inevitably, I will be able to defend here. And I'll probably defend here, which leaves me three attackers. All I need to do is two over there, which he can do, which kills that. And that leaves me with Gimli and Legolas to take out the Jailer. Which should do way more than enough. No, so I can handle everything. Okay. In, in in that region. In that case, I'm sitting at 31 threat. I think I'm going to draw some cards because I I really want to get steward. Yeah, uh, yeah. If we get steward, that's at 100 worth it. Okay. Yeah. We so, we can just say we won at that point. So I think so. I that's the one where you just. It's an auto win, right? Yeah, it's okay. a line in the rule book. I'll find it later, but it's it's real, <laughs> yeah. it's real small. Yeah. Like fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So in, in that case, I am done. So in the quest phase, we'll quest. We'll just do this. Uh, with Aon done here, we're also going to sneak attack a Gandalf into the quest phase, and draw three cards. Daughter, Tessa, Will, and an unexpected card. Bummer. Ew. Bummer. So, not great. Auto win, LOL. Okay, so, yeah, so we've got, on my end, I've got um, nine with the potential of ten. So, I'm, I'm good. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going against... Five. Mm -hmm. um, when reveal, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Oof. Um, yeah, those cards uh, are rough. Just take a look at that. Um, do I cancel it? I think it's worth it. That's a pretty bad card, dude. Especially since you have. A couple cards exhausted. You have heroes exhausted, which is the bigger thing. The, the only problem is, is I'm exhausted to a Gondor attached character wins the game and the next. Oh, and the next. I I think that was uh, the errata. That was the errata rule, right? Yeah, no, that's why we need the new revised core. That makes sense. Yeah, because so, yeah. Stewart was slightly underpowered, and so they wanted to fix it. So no, that makes sense. I, I remember reading <laughs> that too. <laughs> the okay, so the only problem. With canceling that is that I need more leadership resources eventually. That sounds like a next round pack problem. Okay, that sounds fair to me. <laughs> I I just think any amount of damage is gonna be bad, especially that much 
damage. Because yeah. I, I feel like once the Nazgul gets in, like I just remember damage going everywhere all the time. And it not yeah, it's not fun. great. It's yeah. it's not good. Yeah. yeah, they're like they're like bad in the movies. I think. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that got canceled, and then we've got oh, good, another one, Ungoloth yeah. spawn. When revealed, each character committed to the quest gets minus one will until the end of the phase. And that is going to engage you. Oh, geez. It's a five attack. Oh, that throws some wrenches and some plans. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is five, eight. So we're going to go one here and then one here onto the main for nine, ten. Gandalf mm. comes back. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, this is uh we've not been drawing good cards. We we we've been drawing some tough ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, when you start with like seven enemies on the first round, <laughs> Jesus. I thought that's what you wanted. I wanted one, <laughs> just one one. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um, so did, did we you quest enough to take this out right and then what are we up to quest we're up to life? four on the main yeah well, at least we got that going for us nice uh, perfect okay so i get two engagements which i'm super well, excited about is is it worth me taking no i think yeah i i think you have to i have to figure it out I have to get work done. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay. That's my job. And, you know, again, we'll, we'll see. You've got the Beastmaster and the spawn. I love how they had the boss. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not even like one of the ones you could take away in the gold yeah. water. Right? It's just like, man, <laughs> you can handle this. It's the third quest of the entire game we've ever come out with. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Your carpool's great. <laughs> You'll be... Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah, people hate this game. That's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So... Yeah. Okay. So which one do you want to attack first? All right. Let's... I guess I should do math. Um, on the bright side... So that has to be six. What's Gimli swing for? Two, three, four. Five. Oh, you would Gimli. Um, <laughs> okay, let's think. Legolas can still take out the Beastmaster. That's something. So we might just have to take straight up damage. All right. Well, regardless, the plan is always going to be the same with this. So the giant, the dumb spider. Is gonna hit my wing guardian. I'm gonna block, and he's probably gonna get knocked out since he only has four defense and one life. So okay, so five plus no shadow effect. I'm eh, still dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Then let's do the. Let's do. All right, let's do the jailer next, and I'm gonna block it with my bird. Jailer next, no shadow effect. So just two. All right. All right. So defends one, gets one damage. The bird is still alive. So that's good for next round. That is good. That is good. And now the beastmaster. Beastmaster. I am just gonna take it. Three. Uh, defending Ugh. player raises his threat by the number of enemies with which he is engaged. So three. Okay. Six, seven, eight. All right. 38. That's we still there. <laughs> we, got some, we got some stuff going. All right. So uh the three damage will be Boromir, naturally. Arrows in the back. Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> too soon. <laughs> the it's movie's been, 20 years old. <laughs> it's been four thousand years. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> oh, um we are going. Two. Oh my god, I can't do math. Um, okay, so this just needs one damage. So who's the weakest? The weakest. Josh said the Hummer horn just got a lot closer. <laughs> <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. 
<laughs> we were so confident. Ah, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the the Boromir is going to attack Dol Gede Beastmaster and take it out uh, with two. Nice. So one defense, one damage. So that's a thing. Um, then we are going to do a Gimli and a Legolas swinging four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight against the jailer and i can't i can't take that map so we have to have that map go back in but we also do um two questing points since legolas will participate in the attack that destroyed an enemy okay so you are welcome for all six of them no yeah i, I appreciate oh, you have that. you have one right so i don't want to shortchange you that's so. yeah, yeah yeah that's good yeah, it'll be fine real useful yeah. and then I'll, I'll swing it down here to kill the hunger horn Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, Oof, all right, that was. I feel like it's about something. <laughs> I'm sensing scoop the sc- scoop, scoop of Gondor getting placed. <laughs> I always got that card in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my most played card. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> My favorite card in the entire game. <laughs> Already, uh, yeah. Let, let's uh, let's. Just, I mean, like, I I do I do want to win this tonight. So let's try one more round. Let's evaluate at the end of this next round and see if we just want to scoop. Like, because this quest only gets harder. And so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, like, I don't think we're doing too bad. We're I, not I think doing, we're not doing horrible. I mean, and we've we've, we've got we've a done. lot of the bad ones out, right? We've got. We have to figure out how to get rid of this spawn creature but well at uh, this i i think i'll be able to well you know i'll be able to look at it yeah that's something <laughs> um oh i did not draw to draw oh the beekeeper nice so useless i don't know why he's <laughs> in this deck <laughs> bjorn uh are you first player yeah all right cool so I'm honestly, I'm thinking that when we scoop, I may switch out. No, we're not gonna I don't scoop. Know. We're not going to scoop. We're, we're not going to scoop. Right okay. Yeah, we're okay, still good. good right now. Okay. Well, in that case, we you want an unexpected courage? Um. Oh, if you want help questing with Gimli, then yes, I would say. If that's a value, so if two quest points each round is a value, um, because I really am almost past the point of defense at this point, so like <laughs> defending is just not going to end well for me. But if we want the bonus two points, we could do that. Okay, so in that case, I'm actually never mind. I'm gonna spend. Three resources. Yeah. <laughs> they just went everywhere. To play Gladium's Greeting to lower your threat by six. Thank you. So that's down to 33. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm almost down to my starting amount. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably. Oh, shoot. But then I, I don't have anything to pay for a test of will. We're we're going to hold on to that. I'll do that next round. Oh, man. That was so good. I don't think, I don't think there's really any benefit for me doing that right now. You know, it makes me feel better. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's all we care about, right? Okay. Yeah. So in that case, I'm I'm done. I'm done. Uh, you did not play an ally, right? I did not. No. All right. Sweet. This is where we get excited with the eagles because we are playing eagles of the misty mountain. So for chat to know why this is important is because response after another eagle character leaves play, you may attach that card face down to this one, and when I do that. He becomes a one-one attack defense for each attachment. So oh, that's cool. Big that's Dumper really cool. is about to die, and he's about to get stronger. <laughs> and when 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 Big Dumper dies, he gets you get to do something, right? Uh, if there's any enemies in the staging area, I can do two damage to enemies in the staging area. So if we flip one, but we're not going to because we went through every single enemy in the freaking <laughs> game, so it doesn't matter. That's fair. Dumper. That's very fair. Alrighty, so stay or questing. So I'm gonna quest for 
five with a potential of six. We're on two. Um. Oh yeah, I need all my attacks. Sorry. Okay. But so, I can take out this stupid spider. So that's something. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll quest for five against two. There's a chieftain. Good. Okay. And when revealed, each enemy and each location currently in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. So right now that's gonna be six to my five. I can discard a card to not raise our threat, which I think is probably, or I can, you're going to kill it with Legolas. I can. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Legolas is going to be a part of it. Yeah. So I'm going to test a will this card. So that way I'm questing five against four, which will put, our seventh progress token when Legolas attacks that that will made a uh, make us move. Thank you, Josh. He said we did an excellent job of weathering the storm. Well, They're, we can't advance right because we don't have an objective card yet. That's we, fair. We needed to get one, but without enough points, so that's I can something. take the shadow key. Um, no, not the shadow key. God no. Uh, yeah, Gandalf's no, map. <laughs> I can take okay. Gandalf's map. Oh wait, is this chieftain going to attack me now? No, oh yeah, he is. Oh my god. Son of a <laughs> actually, so Ugh. gross. Yeah. Does that matter? Because I can still play Gladian's greeting. Let me think. Which um, I never picked back up. So and He's then like this. Lower it down, and he'd stay in the staging area. Uh, if we want me to kill the spider, it matters. Or I can hopefully try to not get a shadow card on the chieftain and have Legolas only take three out of four damage. Let's let's. I don't want him there okay yeah so since he came out first we would know this um so instead of playing a test for will when that comes out i'm going to yeah but he that's an action card right the yeah the yeah so there's an action window so even if we know it it doesn't matter if you want to lower my threat because we're not at encounter phase yet yeah, um, so instead of playing a test for Will, because if I play it, I don't have the resources for Glad James. Uh, oh, I got you, I got you, okay. Um, so, okay, so in that case, I'm going to I'm going to toss a um, River Song. So this doesn't get one there. Then we will spend three resources to lower your threat by six. Hey, thank you. Thirty-three. Okay, cool. We can grab an objective in the action window right before the quest resolution. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> There's so many action windows. Yeah. In this game. What what I've learned about this game is that if you think you can play an action, you probably can. Yeah. If you were breathing, you could probably play an action. In there. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So. Okay, so that we're good. Okay, so big dumb spider is gonna hit me. Big dumb spider is going to hit you. Yes. Oh, and this works out too because the chieftain's gonna take two damage from my big dumb bird. Nice. There so, you go. Win, win, win. Except for the the big dumb bird, he's gonna lose. But you know, <laughs> he'll become an attachment, so he wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So five plus the shadow is big dumb bird. Yep. I'm sure he's bird. a really majestic bird. I don't want to oh. sound negative oh, yeah. to no. the, the, the bird. Big smart bird. <sighs> uh, defending player raises his threat by the number of enemies with which he is engaged. So up one. Wait, he sprayed some humming horn be gone. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so right. your threat goes up one. Okay. All right. And so big smart bird now becomes an attachment. 
to Eaglesburg. Uh, Eagles missed the map, so that's nice. Okay, my turn to attack. So Eagles is swinging for three. Gimli is swinging for two, three, four, five. <laughs> four mirror for three. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11. Wait, how did I math that wrong? I could have, uh, whatever. So instead, Boromir is not swinging. Legolas is swinging. Um, oh, big smart bird did two damage onto Chieftain. Got it. Leaving play before I forget. Um, so Legolas is going to do the final shot on this big spider. That gives us our nine. No, they we're at eight. That gives us our eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I will swing back three, bouncing off the three defense on the chieftain. So that was awesome. That was I'm trying. I'm, I'm really like trying. picturing it in my head. And it's just, <laughs> it was really sweet. cool. It's really epic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stand up. We're threatening going up. We've got some money. And we've got some cards. Come on. Hey, there's a Dwarven Tomb. That's nice. Cool. I need Bear Beer. Is it the next stage we get him? No. I think, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's the next stage that we get him. Okay, cool. Okay, so your first player. Ooh, yay. Uh, are you putting in an ally? No. Sweet. Uh, so hmm. um, swing it for three. Work with him. Um, okay. Um, I am not going to play anything. Okay. Right? Yeah, I'm not going to play anything. I, I still need to get what's his face in here. Rather guess. Freaking whole deck was built around him, not using him. Um, okay. So I'm questing for five with a potential of six against four and two cards do you want yes three oh wait three four six three Ugh, it won't kill it uh well that's um i can give you two two more questing points with um well hmm. wait no i want him to attack no i can give you one i hope you enjoy it <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's six, potentially seven against two. Okay, so there's the Necromancer's Pass and the Cavern Guardian. So doomed one, so we each go up one. And that's two, four, six, nine against our six. This is where we're at, I guess, in his mushrooms, man. <laughs> oh, geez. What was it? Necromancer's and, Pass. What was the other one? Uh, the Cavern Guardian. He's a little minion. A... There it is. Oh. And Doomed One at thirty-six point. Um. Uh. I mean, I'll I'll take both of them. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, that wasn't an option. Never mind. Never mind. It is because you can you can optionally engage the first one, and the second one will immediately engage you. No, I, I meant like it was an option that you were going to take one for me and like you know do that, but I'm no, just messing with you. <laughs> no, I definitely not. <laughs> I was uh, not, not doing anything with that. How do you feel about discarding two cards at random from your hand? Well, I have mostly doubles. So as long as it's not Radagast, I'm okay with that. So let's do it. Why not? What, what okay. are we going to do? What are we going to lose? <laughs> okay, sorry. So we got two, four, six, nine. We quested for six. So we each got three. 
I'm trying to figure out if it's worth toss. I don't like, I, I like my cards. Um, I think I'm actually going to toss. I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not liking what this deck is doing. I'm going to toss unexpected cards. We'll each go two. Okay. Okay. So now we'll travel to Necromancer's Pass. So you'll discard two cards at random. Uh, pick two numbers. Uh, out of... Uh, one, two, one three, and two. Four, five, six. Oh, man. <laughs> one, two. All right. To the Eerie. And, no, the Beekeeper. I, I was never going to play him. So that's good. Oh, shoot. Also, I completely forgot that A1's ability is each player can, not just me. Okay. And so in the future, i.e. next game, like we have the option of going up two instead of just one. Wait, can I can I just do it now? Can I throw one away? So my threat only goes up one. Yeah. Like it's not like we have any new information, right? We would have done it after the fact, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm okay with that. I think that's allowed. Chat says nothing because I spoke too quickly. Perfect. All right. <laughs> <And> hands <laughs> off the piece. So the, yeah. the turn is over. <laughs> oh, <we're done. laughs> okay, so you're engaging these guys. Uh yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Who's attacking first? Um, so let's think about this. We uh cavern guardian undefended. Cavern guardian undefended. Cavern guardians on the left. No shadow effect. Oh, thank God. Legolas takes two to the face. Um, and then the chieftain is going to be blocked by my sweet eagle defending three. Sweet eagle. The video lag is unacceptable. <laughs> uh, no shadow effect. All right. So blocks three. All right. Well, that was, that was amazing. Um, so we do it. So, uh, three. Yeah, okay, that's all right. It is. So, Gimli and Lucas were <laughs> <Five>. both. <laughs> Sorry, five turns later. Wait, no, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, so, they're both attacking the chieftain, which is okay. going to take him out. He goes in the victory display, which is nice. That is nice. And we place two progress tokens on the current quest, which would be our location, as we have learned, because we are no longer noobs at this game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that gets rid of that. So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Five turns yeah, we're quicker than that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't go back and fix all the other times we screwed up. Yeah, right. But A one's really good. A one's a very good character. Eowyn is someone like I still use like yeah. quite frequently. Like she's yeah. she's good. She's she's very very and, good until you get a different Eowyn. For those what? that know, yeah. And if you if you, and if you, you know, know you know. Now you know. <laughs> All right. Look at that beautiful right there, Stuart of Gondor. <sighs> Let's go. Finally won this game. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're done we won good job I'm proud of you. that was proud really fun i'm glad thanks for hanging out everybody yeah um. <laughs> oh and i got a beekeeper he came oh, back he he's came back. back still not gonna <laughs> use him but he's back he's literally there to fill out a deck <laughs> excellent okay so i am first player now i am going to play steward onto miss aowen I'm just gonna I never know how to like make the cards look maybe down here I don't know man uh, what do you want whatever you're comfortable with yeah I'm not comfortable with anything and that's the problem <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of awkward cards it's lying around <laughs> always awkward cards yeah so I think at this point oh man we're we're ready to go let's go okay so I like it that that's it for me uh you didn't play an ally right uh, I did not. Is that okay? That's or fine. is it okay? If you would like to, okay. that's fine. No, too. no, no, please. I, I was, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to play my Northern Ranger now or wait 
and play Gandalf next turn. And I want to play Gandalf next turn. Yes, you do. For sure. Because the Nazgul will be out next turn. Yes. Um, so I am playing, finally, after seven rounds, Radagast. Nice. Radagast. He's here. He is here. He will start collecting resources and be paying for all the birds in the future. I will be bird rich <laughs> soon. Good. Um, and fun, you have a quester now, so he can help you quest. So. Oh, good. Okay, sweet. What's his questing ability? Uh, he could do two. So that's, that's something. <laughs> yeah, that's something. <laughs> That's great. Better than the one I was offering you before. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, I am I'm feeling pretty pretty okay about this. So the the Nazgul. Okay, it's just in the staging area. Okay. Oh good God. He's not fun. Who is it? The Nazgul. Oh yeah, no, just just burn that card. <laughs> just we don't, we don't need, need it. it. Don't need <laughs> this game is way easier without it. Yeah, right. The Indeed. other thing that we could just completely screw ourselves over on is if that objective card gets dealt to us as a shadow effect. Rada guest, rada guest, um, rada guest, rada <laughs> guest. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not great if that happens, but yeah, you know, we only need one of the objectives right now, right? So you know, that sounds like a right now a, yeah. a problem for the end of the game right <laughs> we got some time yeah yeah sure okay oh no wait no that's next round we need all three yeah huh. maybe that is a problem okay so i i'll quest for five against two forgiven he was late he was definitely late <laughs> 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 all right you're questing for two I'm questing for five. Oh, okay. I will add another two to your five. Okay, seven. And then we have the potential to go up to nine if we need it. Yep, I don't think good. we will. Maybe. I really hope we don't need to. Okay, so we got the Enchanted Stream and the Endless Caverns. And so that's five total. So we are... I We can claim an objective right now, right? Uh, the chat has spoken that we could, yes. Oh, okay, there's gonna... a Doom one on the Endless Caverns and a Surge, right? Oh, shoot, yeah. Okay, so doomed one, we each go up one, and then we got another Necromancer's Pass. Uh, so it's two, four, five, eight. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we'll need to discard two cards. <laughs> uh, you dumb beekeeper, go away. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Ugh. Okay, we're going to... Tomb. Okay, so now I'm claiming Gandalf's map. Aowen can no longer attack or defend, so hopefully that doesn't mess us up too bad. Um, and we're moving on. Hey, um, before we move on, uh, no, we move on now and then we travel. Okay, so yeah, yeah. okay, so two A. Through the cavern. So finding a hidden entrance to the dungeon of Dol Gador at last, you attempt to make your way through the caverns beneath the hill, searching for your imprisoned friend. The densons of this labyrinth stand in your way while the jailers protect the prisoner. So this is a 15 quest to get through. Uh, after placing any number of progress tokens on this card, flip the prisoner hero card face up and place one damage token on it. This hero has been rescued and may now be used by its controller. The players as a group cannot play more than one ally each round, and players cannot advance to the next stage of this quest unless they have the uh, rescue the prisoners and all three escape from Doltegor. Uh, objective cards. How would you place 15 on there and not have it rescued? And then uh, when the prisoner is rescued, the Nazgul comes into play. So, Oh, okay. okay. So do we want to... Let's travel to the endless caverns. So I'm going to. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sweet. So now you've got. Uh, my cavern guardian. 
Yep. Ooh, I will block with my my Misty Eagle. Defending okay. three. Defending character must choose and exhaust one character he controls. Uh, Boromir. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> All righty. Um, okay. And then I will attack with Legolas. And he will kill it, which allows us to put two questing points onto the location as well. Which allows us to get Bear of Your Back. Wait, does it? Yeah. Because it's once we put any... Um, isn't it a three on the active location? After placing any number. Oh, shoot. Yes, you're okay. right. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Professionals, we, we swear. Maybe shouldn't have traveled. That's fine. It, it actually will be nice to not have the Nazgul out next Yeah, round. it'd be nice to have it one more round. So that works. Yeah. Out. Okay, before, cool. Before it kills me. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> Yeah, I would just look at the Nazgul and just get depressed is all. That's fair. So your first player, we're going to hand out some money. And draw a card. I had a guess. Would you like some money? Oh, I would. Oh, awesome. no, attach- no attachments can be played on the Nazgul. It's like, I just got a four snare. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really nice. That'd be that'd be pretty that'd awesome. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be hundred percent. Not gonna lie. That. Not gonna lie. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, okay. Okay. So your turn. I would like to play an ally. That works because I am going to play the Citadel plate. So two, three, four. Attached to a hero, Gimli. That hero gets plus four hit points. Oh, clutch! That's excellent. That's awesome, dude. Gilly's gonna start getting punched, or Gimli's gonna start getting punched in the face. Nice, very nice. Gilly uh, is a character from Too Many Bones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just have to say, I did play it, and it is really good. Yeah, isn't it fantastic? Yeah. It's a lot to take in, and I am really excited. And you play. didn't even We're, play your own copy yet. No, I I haven't. <laughs> so I'm I'm playing. D and D tomorrow, and I, I was like, kind of, not really, because like I, I enjoy playing D and D, but it's like my only like free time until like next week. I was mm-hmm. like, if it gets canceled, I can play too many bones. And I'm like, ooh, but you know what we could do is one stream in the future we could do too many bones two yeah. player, and I can run it on my end, so this way you don't have to worry about like dealing with encounters and stuff. I would love that. Yeah, let's definitely yeah. do that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, sweet. Cool. Okay. I guess we should play this game that we're playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. So, yeah, okay. Uh, so that's my one card I'm playing is that attachment. So I am I am good. What gear lock did you use? Ooh, important questions. I uh, like it. Um, what was the picture? What would they do? It was the bomber. Uh, boomer? Boomer, no. yeah. Boomer, yeah. I love Boomer. I boomer love was boomer. awesome. Boomer was a lot of fun. She's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, it was like it. Was, yeah, it was just really cool. I, I I just really liked the mechanics of like building up and like I it, it was just really cool. Well, I, that, I like that's what's so great, right? Is that like if Boomer can go one direction, then she could go a different direction next game or a different right. direction the following game. Like it's so cool. And it almost felt like almost any of the characters could do that, mm-hmm. with the exception of like the barbarian person, which I I don't quite remember what their name Tantra. was. Yeah. Tan- yeah. Right. But also they had a bunch of like uh Tantrum had a bunch of like debuffs too, which is pretty cool. We played yeah. a four player game. So okay. and I wasn't there for setup. And so I kind of sat in after they had played, I think one one like battle or something, maybe okay. two. Yeah. And so like I, I still don't know all of the setup stuff, nah. which nah. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. So okay. Cool. So my my turn. Uh yes, your turn. Okay, we're going to spend four resources to play a Northern Tracker. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to quest. So we're going to quest for four, five, six, and we're going to place one progress token on each location in the staging area, which gets rid of Tower Gate. Next turn, we'll get rid of Necromancer's Pass and Enchanted Stream. In multiple builds to adjust for player counter tyrant. Yeah, which is, which is just really cool. And it's just like, 
it's a great design how how it just kind of worked out and so I, i'm really really excited to play it more i and i guess like jason you would know really well my my only concern is that there seem to be maybe some characters that don't work great solo is that true there are some that are not as good everyone i've beaten most tyrants with everyone solo but okay. it is a different strategy so like for example the healer one you just have to go crazy with attack with the healer one gotcha. um, patches yeah. so there's like weird things to do but what's what's the most interesting to me is the four out of that core box are i like them but they're probably the most boring so like they only get more exciting as you move along like that's they good. start they start doing some nuts things later that's on. really cool <laughs> that's really cool okay are you are you adding to my six um so here's the thing if we if we advance we're going to be getting the nazgul out there who's going right. to engage me right right or yes yes so i need to kind of get ready for that actually thought 12 let me think about this so three four five six seven eight nine ten oh my god i could do 11 damage on him do you need two quest points let me put it that way um i think if we if we don't have two quest points the nazgul is not coming out so i'm, I'm questing right now okay well okay so i'm questing for six against five and okay. so we, i can also we need... throw away a card if you want so okay yeah so we need seven to put the Nazgul into play, which I'm okay not putting the Nazgul into play this round, actually. Like, I'm okay just clearing the location, and that may actually be a better move. All right, if you're fine with that. I mean, either way, I'm fine with the Nazgul coming in. Um, he would just have one life left, which actually isn't awful, but I can swing pretty hard against him regardless. So, and plus, he's swinging for four. I have Eagles blocking three with four life. So, I mean, I could handle the Nazgul by myself, to be completely honest. Okay. It's not actually, it's not a terrible idea because even if he hits for four, let's say he hits two. And I, I, I have, I'm putting Gandalf into play next round. So I can, I can hit him for four damage if that helps. I mean, it might, that might even be overkill at this point because it might be better if you need cards with a lower threat. Um, so if you, Because the only thing I'm thinking, like, if you start needing your hero, right, that's face down, like, do you need him to, like, start doing stuff with him? Like, would it be more helpful to do it this round versus next round? Because honestly, like, I'm I'm honestly not too worried about the Nazgul, like, attacking me. Okay. Let me, let me make sure. After a show. Of... If you're not too worried, are you, well, are you worried ooh. about the... Never mind. I didn't realize he had a force thing. After a shadow effect dealt to oh, after a shadow effect dealt to Nazgul a duel, Gador resolves. The engaged player must choose and discard one character he controls. Oh, that's tough. Oh, <laughs> I take it all back. I am not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in that case, I'm not doing anything. Right. Okay, okay. so we're going up against five i'm questing for six so i may need you to discard some cards because i do want to clear this location okay that's fine um okay so we'll add <laughs> oh we added the dungeon torch okay sweet play the beekeeper oh. oh wait okay so the dungeon <laughs> torch comes in with the mountains of murkwood and then we've got the dolgador orbs um actually this works out perfectly i think so or not really perfectly but we got two five seven nine and i quested for uh six and so we're gonna go up three uh i'm going to spend one resource to cancel the dolgador when revealed because i don't want to die wait, wait, and wait. i'm first player aren't i Oh, first player. I'm sorry. Yep. I said each so, player. and I, I put no one toward it. So, very nice. Haha, <laughs> strategy. <laughs> so, we're each going to go up three. Threat, I think. 
Can I, can I throw away a card and reduce it to two? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to do that. We're going to reduce it to one. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. And then when Legolas, or Legolas can kill the orcs, which means that we will bring out the Nazgul this turn, but he won't engage us until the next turn. So I think that's probably the best of both worlds. Okay. And you you said you wanted to bring out Gandalf too, so he'll be able to start hitting and whatnot if, if we want to. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll see what we draw. But. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Orcs coming my way. Orcs are coming your way. Sweet. And they get a shadow. So they're attacking you for two plus zero. Um. Wait, so I have three and nine. So I, I want, I'm not going to defend or anything because I want this to hit Gimli. Okay. Uh, zero or no shadow. No shadow. So that's two. So Gimli's up to five damage. Swinging for seven, baby. That's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, the orcs don't deal damage because uh, the first player, which was Jason, didn't have any characters committed to the quest. Yeah. And if I did, I would have gotten two damage to that character. So yeah. chooses one character currently committed to the quest. Well. Oh, I oh, guess no, you have to choose my character. I would choose your character. Well, so I am I am going to cancel it. Okay. Yeah. Sad. Good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fine. Yes. Sad. Okay. But anyway, so you kill that. Oh, yeah. That thing's dead. You're swinging back. So we... Finish the location. Oh, I, I, yeah, I killed it with Legolas, so that gets rid of the location. Yep. Okay. One comes out here. I get to flip up Barrier with one damage, and the nasty Nazgul comes into play. <sighs> Thank, thanks, Josh. There you go. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm gonna exhaust Barrier to draw two cards. That's pretty nice. Is it? Maybe not necessary, but it's nice. Um, okay, so. Okay, are you good? Uh, yeah, so this round's done. This You're round is up. done. You're set. Pay this man his money. Come on, something good. Ah, uh, yes. Oh my goodness, I have, I have money in my lore aspect now. I would appreciate it if I could play an ally. So this okay. way when I take the Nazgul, yeah. I can get rid of said ally. <laughs> I just want to help this be a legit yeah. win. Yeah, so yeah. Forgiven, this will always not be a legit win. I'm sure we've made a mistake somewhere. Like, somewhere. Yeah, we, we <laughs> did go back and change Aowen's ability that one time, five turns yeah, later. That's true. Yeah, we did do that. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate it, Josh. I, I 100% absolutely love that you help us with this because there's a lot going on, and I really appreciate it. So... <laughs> Okay, so so in that case, um, okay, yep, I will. I'll hang out. Okay, um, so we're gonna do one, two, to throw out a veteran axe hand, whose job it will be to get discarded. Hey. Big fan of that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you play the game. <laughs> go team. All righty. So we're going to go into quest phase. So I'm going to quest with Aowen, Northern Tracker, which will get rid of Necromancer's Pass and the Enchanted Stream. So good. It's Northern, Northern Tracker is so good. <laughs> the fact that it's not a unique as well <laughs> is, is insane. <laughs> Because you can just run three of them. It's like, okay, cool. Locations yeah. don't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> so that's five, do need, six. Do you want two? Yeah. All right, Radagast gives you two. 
Okay, so two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten against seven. And we can toss cards if we need to. Oh, yes. and, uh, there. Okay. It's com- he, yeah, he is yeah, completely absolutely. lost. <laughs> so first one is in Mountains of Mirkwood. And then we've got Iron Shackles. When revealed, attach Iron Shackles to the first top of the first player's deck. Counts as a condition with the text. Next time a player would draw one or more cards from the attached deck, discard Iron Shackles instead. Um, okay. Okay, so that's nine, and I requested for two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're placing one on the main here. I feel like they do a good job of reteaching or of tacking against them later. Okay, that's that's good. They do, yeah. No, they do. They yep. they realize their mistake later on. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, okay. So, will you tra- are we traveling you op- somewhere? No. Okay. Um, because I I I have another northern oh, tracker. Yeah, I can just yeah. clear them, and those are not great stuff. So, yep, you're right. Okay. Uh, yes, I will take this Nazgul. Thank you. That, <laughs> you're just like, now nah, you got him, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm playing solo. <laughs> This is my legit win. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Never so you got one. the Nazgul. Yeah. Um, nothing. Does anything bad happens when we run into the encounter deck? I can't remember ever. Just reshuffle. Just okay. go back into it. Okay. So the Nazgul is swinging at you for four plus a shadow. So I am blocking with Misty Eagle. Misty Eagle. So four plus no shadow effect. So that's going to do two damage to Misty Eagle. And his force, after a shadow effect dealt to, uh, to Nazgul Duel resolves, uh, the engaged player must choose and discard one character. But there was no shadow effect. Wouldn't the resolve be that there's no shadow effect? Or no? Josh, you're sorry. Yeah, somebody let me know. Regardless, <laughs> I don't need to use him, so we can keep going and chat can let us know that. Okay, yeah. Um, so I have to do essentially 12 damage. So we have three with Boromir, three with Legolas, and two, three, four, five, six, seven with Gimli. So <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Uh, Josh says we have to put an acceleration token on the main scheme. Oh, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that'd be so, great. The quest are, goes are, up faster. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, I think our stream on Wednesday, we start with an acceleration token. <sighs> If there's no shadows, then you're good. Sweet. All right. Okay. Then Veteran Haxhand is also going to attack for absolutely no reason. Because uh, he just went in on this, right? You got to take out uh, a Nazgul when you can. Yeah, right. And Nazgul is dead, and we get to place two progress tokens on the current quest. So my favorite thing about this is that the Nazgul doesn't have victory, so he... There's he shuffle a back it. There's a chance that he comes back. So He better be a shadow card, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So... We're ready up. I, th- I think I think we're doing well. I'm a, I, little, I'm a little worried. Don't 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 tell me about that. Okay, so <laughs> I just discard this. Um, get some money. Okay, my friend, your first player. I would like to play a ally. Too bad. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, then I, I'm actually going to. Um, I'm not going to play anything, but I am going to because there's no there's no enemies, right? Just there project. there's no enemies. That's okay. correct. So I uh, I didn't raise threat. Oh, oh yeah, my fortune. So I'm going to use. Um, spend X resources from Radagast pool to heal allies. I'm going to spend two to heal my bird. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, two. So Very I'm nice. done. Okay. Um, I am. I'm done. Okay. Sweet. I am going to spend four resources to put a second Northern tracker into play. 
Sweet. I am going to spend and you have the map, right? That's the one that, that's taken. Gandalf's map. Yes, I have the map. All right. Um, sure. We do need to figure out how to where we need to go quick. And that that's that's the problem here. Yeah, I mean, I am sitting at 43 threats. So if I take two, um, I, could, I could probably take the one that does the damage and put that in Gimli because you figure I get like four rounds out of that. But each time we take one, it's raises it a threat too. Yes, which is no point. But, you know, yeah. But you're but right. We'll have to take it at the very end, right? Like, yeah. After we get 15. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm instead going to spend five to put Gandalf into play. Okay. Um, I'm going to lower my threat by five. Sure. I cannot lower yours. But the other thing is, is that I have I have a northern tracker and I can and I have a stand and fight. So I can stand and fight the northern tracker because I'm going to discard the northern tracker with AON to allow us to get a little bit more out there. Okay. So sweet. Okay. So that works. And okay, so now we're going to quest for Northern Tracker. So we're going to go one on each one of these in the staging area. And as quest with Gandalf, we're going to quest with Aowen. We're going to quest with Dune here. And uh, okay. that'll be that. So I will. Is, well, I can quest with yeah. the Eagles, Radagast, and Gimli. So that's six for me. Six, 10, 11, 15. 16 total 16 okay against four so we're down to 11 caught in a web the player with the highest threat level attaches this to one of their heroes which is you and so it's the attached hero is not ready unless during the refresh flight phase unless you pay two resources that's a bummer and then wait what what thing is that under uh, caught in a web it's from spider okay i panicked i was like was i not supposed to put this modular in like no (laughs) that's why we're doing okay ah dumb freaking car stupid (laughs) freaking car get them all out all right uh we will put that on boromir since he has been mostly useless this entire game. <laughs> all righty and then so we're still plus 11 and then each player discard all event cards in their hand well that's a straight bummer wow i have one <laughs> and a lot of birds <laughs> okay so we're still plus 11 solid so Let, we move on. Oh, we don't yeah. have the objectives. We don't have no. all the objectives, so we can't but, move on yet. So, so, but what we can do is we can action, right? To take the keys if we want to do that now. We need all three of them. And one of them is guarded by... Oh. Oh. Two, four, six, eight. All right. Well, at least it's at 15, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. 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 For a little bit. Okay, cool. Now, if I play the Northern Tracker instead... We would not have had enough to move on. So, yeah, <laughs> lose, lose. Okay. So, end of the round, ready up. Threat, so, you're at 44. Love it. I'm, so, oh, I'm going to exhaust barrier to draw two cards. Oh, I got a Gandalf. Oh, and they're cool. There's my Celebrian Stone. So, there's plus two. Uh, it's dumb. <laughs> hate this game we're doing well all right we're doing well (laughs) i'm happy um (laughs) this is my happy face (laughs) go one one three and you're i'm first player do you need an ally uh no (laughs) okay eventually i would like to play a bird but we do not need to this round Okay. It's not super useful. Okay. So I'm going to spend one, four to play a Northern Tracker. Okay. 
I'm going to spend two from Eowyn to give her plus two uh, willpower. I really wanted to run Aragorn. My my thought was to run um, instead of doing here Aragorn because that's of, oh but, because of that thing yeah yeah it's a good card. <clears throat> okay, so that's my turn. All right, so you play an ally, so I can't do anything. So that that's that. Okay. Hey, fun. So we'll quest with uh north two northern trackers, which will clear the two things in the staging area. So that's two, six, seven. I'll do uh, Radagast just in case, because you yeah. never know when something might happen. <laughs> and he's not doing anything else, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then we'll flip, to, oh, we'll flip this guy. So caught in a web. So do you want this on board, Merrigan? Yeah, can you double stack that? <laughs> it doesn't say you can't. I think you have to pay four resources at that point, but <laughs> I don't know if it matters. <laughs> I don't hate this idea. <laughs> <laughs> can you have two conditions? Oh, where's where's the rule book? Conditions. I, f- I feel like it's cheating the system. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it, but you know, I don't see why not. I think, I mean, like it's it's just as bad as actually. It's probably worse than spreading it out, right? Like technically, probably. if you actually needed the hero. Yeah. Well, chat. Let us know. I'm gonna put it on Boromir for now. If that is not the case, and I will figure that out in a little bit. And we've got one more card coming in, which is uh, the Tower Gate. So. So we do that. I will, um, I will take the dungeon torch with Barrier. It's fine. Cool. Okay. Ah, okay. And then, do you want me to take the shadow key? Actually, um, it does not matter. So here's here's a fun idea, right? If we could start rushing this really fast. I could put in this special bird that basically after a hero card is destroyed, I return this special bird to my owner's hand and put that hero back into play with one damage token on it. Okay. And now, if I do it to Boromir and let Boromir die, technically I think his conditions <laughs> go away. Right? Big fan like, of that. Big fan of that. I mean, I know it's kind of like gaming the system, but I think I could <laughs> do that. So, and then, I mean, I know I'll be a 46 threat, but honestly, it's like we just super need to them- it's like super thematic at that point because Boromir dies and actually helps the party at that point. Yeah. And then in the fourth Lord of the Rings movie, he comes back. Yeah. The Revenge of Sean Bean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Revenge of Sheen Bean. Yeah. I mean, I'll take you can- it. Yeah. Okay. Yellow. Yeah, well, why not? Just so I, I gotta go up two, right? So 46. Okay. So now quest resolution, we proceed on. Right. Nope. Also, Boromir gets no love. Boromir got all the love. All right, he quested for one. He was special that one round. <laughs> he helped kill the Nazgul. <laughs> You're just lucky that we kept Boromir around for more than one third of we're, the we're game. We're practically on like we did more the than the movie. books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I will say that book Boromir is, I think, significantly better than movie Boromir. But yeah, with arrows and inspect, that's fair. Yeah, that's fine. You, you also, it. shout out to D20 for the awesome token holders, which I'm using. I just love these so much. So, man, yeah, D20's got some amazing stuff. That's really cool. Really I, I probably should have put mine on the side of my board, but I completely forgot. And <laughs> way over there. <laughs> the, spy- the spiders love him, apparently. <laughs> yeah, right? Come on. He's just, I just, I'm sorry. I just picture Sean being like, just like clumsily stumbling around, hitting every single spider web. Like, ah, <laughs> they got the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. So let, uh, out of the dungeons, following a thread of sunlight, you discover a cavern opening 
leading out through the side of the hill stations outside the cave mouth, however, is a group of large orcs. At the beginning of each quest phase, each player places the top card of his deck face down in front of him as if it was engaged with him in the staging area. These are called orc guards and act as a 1-1 minion. A 1-1-1 minion. Players cannot defeat this stage while the Nazgul Adol Gador is in play. If this stage is defeated and the Nazgul is not in play, the players have won the game. So I think we probably can win right here. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. So I go up three, and you go up one. You deal a damage to Mr. Oh, Boromir. Boromir's hanging on, man. He's hanging on. I'm exhausting <laughs> Barabir before that to oh, okay. number two. Um, so Boromir gets a resource. Kimmy gets a resource. And Bradley does. Okay. And, oh, another beekeeper. Oh, oh, OP. Please nerf. Yeah, please nerf. Can't wait to discard him for uh, to get more quest points. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. Okay, your first player. All right. So the important question is: Do you need an ally to help us quest? Uh, we can play as many allies as we would like. Oh my god! I don't even know what how to do that. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'll pay for a five, which I get a big, big. A- Fierce bird in here, so three for Boromir because he's gonna die, and we'll take two off of Radagast. And so get him in. Um, I I have to say I'm loving this deck that you're playing. Mine, I, yeah. yeah. I just like I. It's so different, and so I. Good job. Thank you. I spent a <laughs> solid forty minutes on a work presentation, not paying attention to the presenter, and doing this. So nice. I love that. That's how you work. Um, <laughs> so I, I feel like it's important to do this because I've just given such a hard time. I am getting the beekeeper in there. Gimli's going to pay for it. <laughs> just why not, right? And yeah, uh, why not? I, th- I think I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All righty. So I will. Spend three to lower your threat by six. Oh, OP. Don't even need it. <laughs> I will spend two to play Glaowin. Is it Glaowin or Glaowin? I've been saying yes. it's Glaowin. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so there's that. Sweet. So, questing phase, I'm going to send Northern Trackers, which will clear the the gate i'm gonna send here i'm gonna send uh we also get a one one um send here send here send here i'm also going to sneak attack gandalf for four or search eagles (laughs) uh yes fact check true (laughs) that is basically (laughs) what i did (laughs) and radagast i had i had to look under the neutral one <laughs> so whatever <laughs> okay so i'm questing for four five six seven eleven thirteen fourteen sixteen so i'll add one exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, i'll add another one um i'll add a two I'll add another one with Boromir to just exhaust him. So I think that that's good from me. Like so you 20 had 20 or so. You had 17. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh my god. <laughs> this better be enough. <laughs> okay, we've got a tower gate. Okay. And we've got the Nazgul. No. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> That's the funniest thing that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swear this is like, you know, this is my favorite game. And then just fucking dig it. <laughs> That's fair, Starry. There are nine of them. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so we we have enough questing, but we can't win because 
That's okay. We got this. We got this. I mean, by we, I mean, I hope, hope you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so will you take the net school, please? Actually, you don't have to, I guess. But no, I want it. I want yeah. it. It's personal now. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you take the NAS school. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. No, that's hilarious. Okay, so you're the first player. So do you want the NAS school or your little grunt to attack you first? Wait, what's the grunt? At the start of the quest phase, you uh, put a one 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 in the play. Stupid one one one. Um. <laughs> So you know what's the real kick? I could really use some of my attackers. <laughs> <laughs> I could have killed the Nazgul right in this round. So that's what I've I get. I've got Gandalf for you next turn, which will do four damage. Well, so, so you- here's here's another thought. The shadow key is going to go back into the staging area, right? Because I'm not going to, it's going to detach, which I guess is fine. It's not the worst thing. Um so I had to focus. It. Okay. So actually, the Nazgul attacks Boromir. Okay. That's, that's a thing. And then this other one, one, one thing. Uh, hold on. So this is three. And and we don't need the three things anymore. So we can actually detach them. Oh really? Yeah. Because we needed oh. the three to move on to this next phase. So we're fine if we. Yeah. I guess we're outside, so we don't need a map of Torture Key. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, okay, so, okay. Let's have the 111 attack me. Okay. And I'm going to block it with the, ac- the, the axe hand. Okay, so it's a uh, no shadow. All right, so axe hand blocks it completely. He's good. So Nazgul, I am going to take um, just right to the face. To Boromir's face actually is, is going to be taking. Wait, he's exhausted. He could take it, right? Yeah, yeah, he can still take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so he's, he's going to take it. Four, no shadow effect. Uh, so he had one life left. So Boromir is gone. But, no! but Shadow Key goes back. Our two caught in the webs go away. I am going to respond with my, my fierce bird after hero cards destroyed, return bird to my hand and put the hero back in the play with one damage on him nice okay now wait was there a shadow on the nazgul no effect perfect so that means i can attack three with my bird i can attack six with legolas or you know up to six now with legolas and then gimli for seven seven plus six is thirteen Kills the Nazgul. Wait. Yes. Give it to me. It happened. Give it to me. That was amazing. <laughs> that was incredible. Ah, I love Boom. it. Boom. Oh. <laughs> How much pain can Bormir take? <laughs> he took what he needed to for the win. <laughs> <laughs> he sacrificed. Without Bormir, we would not have won this match. And Just like Frodo would not have made it to Mount Doom. That's true. And to be fair... Since Boromir came back, I don't think he's exhausted anymore. <laughs> he could hit the Nazgul too. Give yeah. Boromir a stab. Why not? <laughs> it's a real army of the dead situation going yeah, on. Yeah, no, we were we were punching <laughs> that thing in the face repeatedly. <laughs> oh. Yes. Landry. Boromir that- can attack the one one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, give him something to do, right? Yeah. Give him something to do. <laughs> Dude, Landreval is an insanely better card than I thought it was when I built this deck. During yeah. the meeting. So it's yeah. a five. So five costs, just so everyone knows. One thwart removal, whatever. Um, three <laughs> attack, one defense, four life. Um, he's a sentinel, so I could have defended with you. But yeah, so after hero cards destroyed, re- you turn this card to your hand, which is gross, to put that hero back into play with one damage token on it. And technically, I can only do it once per game, but all I need that, to. That's great. That's awesome. I need to. Oh, man. I can't believe we did it. We were we gonna it. scoop this too. We were gonna, and and I am glad we stuck through it. Can you imagine if we lost right now? We'd have two more hours. 
<laughs> oh man, that that was good. That was that was good. Thanks for thanks for playing that. And I'm glad that we did it with Merkwood cards too. Yeah. Which so yeah. Thank you so very much, Astari. Alrighty, so what's your stream schedule look like this week, Jason? Oh yeah, I have to do stuff. Uh oh, so tomorrow, Lord of the Rings. Who nice. Knew, who knew? Yeah. Doing um Baga. doing the doing yeah, the Hobbit final scenario in Overhill and Underhill box. So okay. this deck has been terrible, and I am so excited to be done with it. So nice. we'll see how that goes. So you're sticking with one deck throughout the whole box? Just that box, yeah. Stuck with the okay. whole deck. And then the next box, I'll do the next saga or the next Hobbit one. And I'll pick heroes that are different and probably build a whole new deck after that okay. nightmare. So cool. uh, that was that. And then are we streaming Wednesday? Yeah, we're yeah. streaming Wednesday. We're starting a Marvel Champions Mad Titan Shadow campaign. And so we're going to be doing that. I think we were talking about Gamora Nebula. Is that still a thing? Are we still doing that? Yeah. Do we decide who's Gamora, who's Nebula? No. Who do you want to be? Gamora. <laughs> you want to be Gamora? Okay, I'll be <laughs> Nebula. Sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. I that's that's on me. That's not on Jason. He actually didn't even go to PAX. He just didn't do any Marvel Champions. No, I went to the joyous place of uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And let oh. me tell you, the day before I went there, it was 70 degrees. The day I was there, it was 34. That sounds awful. Then it was 35. Then it was 42. Then I left and it was 68. <laughs> <laughs> I hate North Carolina. <laughs> oh man. All right. Yeah. So we, we got, uh, we've got Marvel champions, Matt Titan shadow. We're starting that. I'm going to run a Nebula Gamora duo against the Matt Titan himself. Then you got anything on Thursday? No, I will be out Thursday, out Friday, out Saturday, and Sunday I'll be continuing my Arkham Horror series. Oh, sweet. But quick, quick note. We have to talk about this really fast. Yeah. Um, starter decks for Lord of the Rings. You getting them? Yeah. Yes? No? Uh, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I'm, I'm really liking the progression, right, and adding yeah. the cards in. And so, like, that's kind of how I'm playing. I think it's a great idea. I'm really yeah. happy that they're doing it. I do wonder if how they're going to do that with the revised core set. So if anyone's unfamiliar mm. with the announcement that FFG made is that they're putting out starter decks, kind of like a, a Marvel champions deck where you can just buy a deck and it has all of the dwarfs that you need to run of a competent dwarf deck or, or similar stuff like that. And so it's going to be really easy to pick up and play. And so that, I think it's a great idea. It's just that I've got 600 boxes sitting over there that i'm enjoying adding in the cards as i go along so uh, i'm probably gonna true. at least not buy them until i get through those boxes and then i may just buy them so yeah mm. they did point. make some changes to some of the heroes though is they what did um discord was pointing out i talked a little bit of it on stream i will be coming out with a video tomorrow that's just Basically, cool. I, I cut it and made a video because i'm a garbage bag youtuber and that's what you do right <laughs> i think so but uh, that's a good point about the Discord. We were talking about that and having a great conversation. So other people should be a part of that. Just saying. Yeah. So if you haven't joined the Discord, go ahead and join the Discord. And then finally, one last, I'm going to hop back in on my Arkham stream on Friday. And so yes. I will be streaming it during the day. So I don't, ha I don't have work on Friday and we're doing Christmas this week. So um, I will be streaming it during the day, probably around like 1 p.m. So if, if you can't make it, all of my all of my videos do go to YouTube after the fact. So you'll be able to catch it if, if one does not work for you. So awesome. Well, I really appreciate you hanging out, Jason. Uh, I was really glad that we finally got <laughs> through this stupid part of the forest right here. Beekeeper, was, baby. The beekeeper for the win. <laughs> it was great. Well, oh man. Well, I, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Looking forward to yes. some Marvel champions. And <laughs> that's the point that that's the that's the goal sorry yeah, uh, that's our only job in the life <laughs> <laughs> so awesome well have a great night everyone have a great yeah. week talk to you all later see you